Hi YouTubers, it's Roxanne from Rox's Cards and Crafts. Today I'm just going to show you how to turn a PDF document into a JPEG or PNG for the purpose of being able to import it to Inkscape and then import it into um, our Canvas program for the Brother Scan and Cut for the purpose of making it a cutting file. So there's a few steps that we need to do and the first step to be able to convert the PDF into a JPEG or PNG is using the programs in your computer which is either Paint or your Snipping Tool. Now to find these just go to the search bar speak or type in Paint right click and ask to pin it to the taskbar. There's mine down there. Do the same for your snipping tool. Right click and pin it to your taskbar. And that's that one there. Now with the paint, the snipping tool and the paint tool are different. Um, the snipping tool is for Windows 10, I do believe, and is much easier. But I'll take you through the paint. Now with the paint you have to take a screenshot. To be able to take a screenshot on your keyboard you need to press the Windows key and the print screen key simultaneously at the same time because that's what simultaneously means. Um, so you're printing the screen, taking a screenshot, um, it's all, it's all the same. So let's open this PDF, reduce the size because this is way too big, so we can see it. And we're going to hold down the windows and the print screen and you'll see it blink at you. Using your paint tool, go to paste and paste that onto the page doing something funny here. Ah, let's go to select rectangular selection and we're going to do, oh, see, now you had to make sure that you saw the whole thing. No, that didn't work. Sorry, my bad. Just go back. Make sure the image is on the page. Go to your selection tool and start cropping. If it's not on the page, it won't crop it properly. Um, see up the top? I didn't do that properly. Oi. Oi. No, no, no. No. Paste. Select rectangle. We need to see you. That's better. I'll start right at the top. Oh, there are the mistakes you make. And I'm not going to edit it. Alrighty. Then just go to crop. And you're ready to save it. Save as paint for PNG. And we're going to go gollywog. PNG uh, paint. And we're going to just save that on the... Yeah. Ow! I always do the wrong one. Hey. Desktop will do for now. And close paint. Close that. Now open that up again. Reduce the size to 75%. And open up your snipping tool. Select new and it will go blurry blurry put your rectangle over all your images make sure they're all there release the button and select file save as saves as a jpeg go golly wog 
look, I'm not pressing hard, but it it's noisy. Gollywog, JPEG, and Snip. 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 Oh my god, I can't spell. Snip. And on desktop and save. Close. Close. Okay. We're going to open up Inkscape. We are going to import. Let's import the paint one first. Open up your file on your desktop. And what did I say? The paint. So it's the paint one first. This little diagram or PNG bitmap image support, just press OK. Comes in funny this one. Just reduce the size so we can see it on the page. It's still enough for you to see. Now, we need to now turn this into an SVG. So to do that, we're going to select it, go up to Path, third one down is Trace Bitmap. Keep all these default settings as is because it's not a, an intricate design just basically black and white. Just press update and OK. Let's close that down. Now it looks like nothing has happened and this is a PNG but move the top one across to the right and the top one is your SVG. How do I know that? All right double click there's all your nodes plus Select it again. Oop. Select it again, and down here it says path. Select the one on the left, and down here it says image. So we're getting rid of the image. File, save as. Now we're going to save that as a plain SVG. Don't really have to, but some say you do. We're going to save the PNG to SVG, so we know the difference, and we're going to save it. Hopefully I just save that to the desktop. I can't remember. Desktop, Gollywog SVG Paint, and I did, because I'm good. Alrighty. Just delete that, and bring in the JPEG. So let's go import this time. Import desktop um, JPEG file from SNP and OK. Then go to path, trace bitmap, update, OK, close that move. Now the one highlighted is a path and we're getting rid of the image so just look at the words down there and save that again as is as you want. Plain, well look, I'm going to keep this one in S Inkscape SVG just to show you that they both work. On the desktop and save. Replace. Ooh, I hope it wasn't the same one. Okay. Open up Canvas, which I have. We're going to select SVG, choose a file, desktop, and we want the SVG paint. Okay. And there it is. Do the same with the um, other one. But for time's sake, what I want to show you is you don't want it to be cutting out like 6B. I'm sure you would take a, well you've got the PDF, just print out the PDF and it'll give you the numbers. So what we need to do is get rid of those. So you just go to edit and press um, divide. And I'm just going to get a bit closer.
I'm not very familiar with this. I think that's that belongs there. I don't know if it's all right. It's okay. Four. I'm going to get rid of that. Six B. I don't need that. And I don't need that. Um, I have no idea what that is. Twelve. So we've got A B C D E. All right. So just get rid of the numbers. You don't want them. So on and so forth. That's an 11, I think. I thought it might have been like two little eyes or slots or something, but they're not. So just get, oop, just get rid of all those numbers. And then you can move all your patterns around. Oh, look, that was an easy way of doing it. Move those, then delete it. careful what you delete no anyway taking up time so just save that it's golly wog save it on your desktop so sorry just save that um, into your projects and you're done so I hope that helped um, just please like share and subscribe and um, hope I made sense thanks again for watching Bye for now.